As far as our users are concerned, uh, we, uh, they can upload any content as long as it doesn't violate our terms of service. Um, we are very, very particular about user privacy. It's very important to us and uh, we think uh, YouTube is a great platform to share all kinds of you know, information and ideas and uh, if there is uh, something that comes up, we'll resolve it in the most appropriate manner as possible. And uh, if you go to either the Japanese site or the Korean site, you can still access the entire video library. In terms of uh, actual physical operational model in each country or business model, right now we are focusing on building the user community worldwide. We want to make sure that the product is right for a country, be it Japan or Korea, and then expand on it in terms of monetization or any other uh, development activity. Uh, if you look at YouTube overall usage, uh, countries both big and small have adopted to uh, video and YouTube worldwide. And uh, we just thought, we think that Korea is a very interesting market. It has so much of broadband penetration and fantastic IT infrastructure that we just had to be here. And uh, there is Korean content that is popular worldwide. It's not just amongst the Koreans, but uh, many people in all different countries enjoy the content and we wanted to give a platform for that user base to, uh, and the creativity for a worldwide audience. Um, I think there were a bunch of questions in this, but essentially it goes back to what our philosophy is, that uh, one thing strong that we have going for us is the largest video library in the world and a global audience that's unparalleled. So, uh, and we have some star performers with 35 million views, uh, who just performed right now, and you can't get that with just a local player in any market. Uh, what we want to do is encourage as much adoption as possible. We have some interesting announcements that will come in the next few months. But at this time, we want to make sure that the product is completely right for the Korean market and uh, it solves a user need here and take it from there. I, I, without focusing too much on market share or Korean competitors, I think the biggest competitor we face worldwide is people's time. Uh, people have 24 hours in a day and what we want to do is uh, get a piece of that. And it is about making sure that whatever service that they engage with, they get the best user experience on that and it solves their need. So if you're a user and you want content, uh, we hope you'll find it on YouTube and we'll, uh, when, and we'll take YouTube as your own, as your first choice for video. <laughs> So essentially, YouTube takes copyright very seriously. We have recently rolled out uh, many ident video identification technologies that will help uh, with against copyright infringement. Uh, we want to encourage creativity amongst users, so we want to make sure that we provide a, s a place where people can fearlessly upload their content and content owners can engage with the site. The, uh, we're looking and evaluating uh, partnerships with many players uh, within Korea too, not just the list that you saw, but uh, the ones that you saw are the ones that are already finalized. So you'll hear a lot more in the future. And uh, I can't really discuss all the terms of the deals that, went, that happened with these partners, but essentially um, we, don't, uh, we don't charge partners to use YouTube as a platform and uh, all the content does get indexed, just as any user's content would get indexed. <laughs>